If we're married, my money is my money, your money is your money. We would still split things. So let's get married and let's have just our contract, but no government involved. That's then you're what I not want. actually married. Yes, you are. No, you're not. See, this is why I don't want to get married. It's more of a transactional thing. I want to sign a prenup. What's poppin' y'all? Welcome to our channel. Before the podcast starts, we, we want to have an amazing announcement. Amazing for you announcement. Guys. Tell so them, Natalie. we are starting a Snapchat for Easy X Natalie. Yes. So if you guys want to see our pranks, our challenges, all, all of that, that, it's gonna be living on Snapchat. On Snapchat, guys, because you know we're on this podcast journey, but everybody keeps saying they miss our pranks, challenges, and vlogs. So everything that you see in our daily lives will be on Snapchat. So follow us right here. It's Easy X Natalie with two E's at the end. We're super excited. It's about to go down. We're posting every single day on there. So make sure you guys please, please, please subscribe. It's going up. Let's get into this podcast. <laughs> What's up, guys? So welcome back to Just Between Us Podcast. I'm your host, Easy. And I'm Natalie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are on episode <laughs> three, y'all. And Ooh. I just want to say, man, nigga, we made it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. No, but our, our podcast is doing phenomenal. phenomenal. If you guys are just listening in, make sure you guys check out our yes. you know video versions on YouTube as yes. well, because the numbers are growing up and we really appreciate it so much. So much. And it's like, guys, like, oh my God, it's episode three. And I'm just like, damn. Are we podcasters or what? That's what it's giving. It's giving That's podcasters. It's, giving. <laughs> it's definitely giving podcasters, man. That I don't understand it. Like y'all that are not here for the video version, thank you so much for tuning in in your car. But when I tell y'all, Natalie, motherfucking Odell, look good as fuck. <laughs> She looks so goddamn good. I'm like, damn, baby. Let me put a baby in you. I'm going to put a baby in you right now. I'm going to oh put one in you. God. Yeah. You first know. of all, first of all, yeah. you already know what's up. You ain't I know no baby in me until I have <laughs> something other than this Fendi ring on my finger. Hey, man, save it, baby. Why can't I just put a baby in you? You know, I really can't put a baby in you, but you know, for pretend, pretend, but for real, for real. Because we're not married. Baby, we don't got to get married to have a baby. Okay. Yes, see, that's, we do. No, see. we don't. See, that's the thing. And I've always wanted, you know, I've always wanted kids since I was literally 18. I wanted to have kids when I was 18. <laughs> Y'all, thankfully. She was legitimately <laughs> like wanting to do that. I remember when we were best friends and yes. she was like, yeah, like, you know, I was actually planning to have a baby at 18. I was like, what? Exactly. Yes. I mean, you know, some people actually do end up getting pregnant at 18, but right. I don't think most people. Shout out to my mama. My mama Shout had, out to Mama Fox. She had me, what, no, she had to say, what, 17, 18? What was it? You were 18. Oh, she was 18 when she had. Okay, yeah. <laughs> my brother, she had my brother 18. She had me at 19. Yes. Yeah. So it happens. But and she's it's a young not, mom. It's not planned when it happens. I know, but I'm saying she's a young mom. So the thing is, I want to be a young mom. I want to be able to. I don't want to have to be like my neck and my back while I'm trying to throw a football to my little man. Well, then you got some work to do because, listen, there's there's an order to this. And I'm not, it's crazy because I'm not super traditional, but traditional. I'll tell you my reasons for it and you tell me your reasons why you don't. No, let like, me let's tell you why about, about it. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about it. it. Just between us, I feel like, first of all, this is, we talk about a baby. But if you want to go there, because I could go there because um, it's, Go ahead. First of all, I'm gonna let the ladies speak. If y'all yeah. don't know, I am a female. If you listening to the the, uh, the podcast version, when I said I'm gonna put a baby in her, you know, obviously we got to go the extra steps. You know? I think they know by you your you, voice that you think you're a female. I don't know. Can y'all tell? <laughs> you're like, I don't know if you can tell, but, but I am a whole. I am a female. Okay. P O P holding it down. down. Okay, so. Here's my logic on it. Like I said, I, it's not for super traditional reasons You're or so anything. Traditional. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Okay, that sounds traditional, but it's not for the reasons why people think you have to get married. Like, really traditional is sex, like, no sex till marriage. No sex till what? That, yeah, that's what really traditional oh, is. Oh, we didn't say that's, Stone Age. We said traditional, bitch. Not Stone <laughs> Age. There's people that still believe in that today. Mm, yeah. Hello, Christ. I'm back to sin again. Okay, sorry. Uh, what is what? that? That was a song, a TikTok song. Okay, I was she doesn't, I was concerned. I'm like, wait, what? 
Okay, see, y'all got to catch, right, baby. Can I go get ahead, to my point? Sorry, y'all know me. I'll interrupt till the day I die. Go ahead. <laughs> right. People really be in the comments. Easy, stop interrupting. Go ahead, All right, going to practice in this video, right, and baby? Go. All right. So what happened? No, I'm just kidding. Girl. All right. So, y'all, for real, though, for real, What's as I was trying to say, it's not for, like, traditional reasons or religious reasons or mm -hmm. anything of that nature. To me, it just logically makes sense that there should be steps to a relationship uh, steps of commitment and the reason why i say that oh is God. because first and foremost the biggest to me the biggest attachment you can have to somebody is having a kid with them right and we can't even do that so, baby so until we let do me that. finish let me finish so that means that should be the last step i think and this is just me and my opinion on based off of how I want to live my life. Okay. I want to live with somebody first, which with, we've done. Right. We do. You know what I'm saying? Then I want to get married. Then if we pass those first two steps and we, you know, we we're still good. Then we introduce having kids. Cause the last thing I want to do is have kids with somebody and it doesn't work out. Cause what? that's like, bitch, we've been doing this for years. You've been my best friend. Thick and thin, literally thick and thin. I was thick and now I'm thin. I was what what more do you want from me if you like it then you should have put a ring on oh if God. you like it then you should i don't know let me know below what do y'all think because i feel like comes. i feel like just logically it makes sense i think mm -hmm. you gotta kind of you know what i'm saying you gotta graduate to different levels no it's all that is what first of all in my opinion i'm not a huge conspiracy theorist but i am and the it's all about the government. Why the government, first and foremost, wants some of some of my money? Why I gotta pay you to say I'm in love with you? Why I gotta pay for all that? I don't. You gotta pay to sign some documents, or no? If we break up, you you gotta pay. No, you gotta pay. You, uh, you have both. to pay to like, like a marriage license. A marriage license. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so look, and let, then you gotta pay if you get divorced. Exactly. See, it's all ass backwards. First of all, Stone Age. If we go back then, it was oh, first you gotta first you gotta get married, then you move in, then you have sex. See, that oh, to me no. is all backwards, and that's why backwards. I said I am not traditional. Yeah, okay. I, I mean, not 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 you know against anyone who did go that. Just in case route. you guys want to cancel her, right? Please, Lord, don't <laughs> don't attack me in the comments please <laughs> no but um i that's definitely that's the, wait let me finish let me tell you let me yeah, yeah, okay, go, okay, go, i got go, you go, i got go, you okay go. so look i the reason why i feel like we should have a child first and if she's crazy y'all. no listen if i was a dude she about had like three four kids by now nah. are you tripping well no Ain't i guess no the way. math wouldn't be mathing because then you got to take nine months and we've been together for what three years you probably have about three kids there's no way yes there's way there's but, no way okay so let me get to it so look i feel like marriage is a scam that's my <sighs> thing i think marriage is a whole scam and i'm gonna tell Damn. you like not honestly scam. tell us how you really feel listen the reasons why i'm not ready to get married to you is i feel like it's a whole scam and i feel like the government just wants to fucking know what's going on in our business okay and here's the reasons why mm -hmm. i already lived with you well let's just talk about general reasons okay why do they have to have a piece of the pie? Why, if it doesn't work out, they also get a piece of the pie? Why is it that, oh, if you don't sign this paper, your, your spouse that you don't want to be with, that you clearly see, hey, it ain't fucking working, <laughs> they get some of your money. What the fuck? That's a scam. And you really thinking you in love with them, but it's like, hi, gotcha, bitch. Uh, uh, look at what's her name? What's her name? What's the black girl name that got paying her baby daddy $30,000? Oh, Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige paying her baby daddy $30,000 a month. A month. A month. That's not, wait, they don't even have kids together. I don't, I don't even think, think that's they not got her kids. baby daddy. That's literally, her, they, it was her husband. Her husband. And because she made more money than him, she pays him $30,000 $30, a month. Oh my God. Literally, what would y'all do? Because honestly, mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Get no somebody way. else to do it. Because you have to at least... I can see... You, okay, so I think that certain things like that are in place in order to... What? Let me get there. Why? Protect the in government. Order, get some more money. And, nigga, I already paid taxes. I paid taxes on food. I paid taxes on everything. And now I got to pay taxes on my fucking wedding. All right, go ahead. And I was talking first, but go ahead. As I was trying to say, um, basically, I feel like there's certain times that... 
those type of things in place will be helpful, especially in circumstances where, say, a woman has gave up her career in order to raise a child or raise children for a guy who was his he spent his time winning all the money, all the bread and stuff like that. And then they get divorced. And then what she's supposed to now still raise the children and now she has no career so it's kind of like takes That's, care of them yes. i think in circumstances like that that definitely makes sense but in a circumstance where you're a grown-ass man and yo ass don't we you don't even got kids with me wait that kind of sounds wait a minute i'm all for mm -hmm. my fellas you just play my fellas He's you literally a, just hey. play my fellas we're well, not talking about just mary j Blige's husband ex-husband you just play guys. You're like, oh, yeah, the girl, this, the girl, that. But the guy, he's a grown-ass man. Okay. The Maybe he needs a the little bit of emotional support. No. Okay. The difference is they don't have kids together. And, Google it. I, and you know what? You know what? what? I feel like if they did have kids together and the woman was out winning all the bread and he was at home taking care of the kids, mm -hmm. then he should have that type of support as well. Mm -hmm. I think it ha should have something to do with having children involved. Okay. Otherwise, I just, you know, I don't get it. So yeah. I understand. I'm saying all this to say. Hey, I understand like your point, but also there's certain times where that is very, a very valid thing that the government did put in place to protect uh -huh. parents that have put all their time into raising a family. And now they're what supposed to just be shit out of luck. Like, no. And I understand that method, but it's the simple fact that I think it should be like this. If there's going to be some type of agreement, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to marriage, we should be, okay, look, if we're married, if we want to share income, let's share income. Let's sign a paper and let's share the income. If you, if we agree to that, but if we don't agree to that, we sign a paper to that too. And if we're divorced, my money is my money. Your money is your money. If we make it together, then that is our money. Just like me and you are very smart. We're not even married, but we have a business account together. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the money we made together. Now there are people that are petty and there are people that really go, you know, try to take some shit, but that's how it should be signed. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so it should be what an do agreement you think, like that. What do you think should happen then if I say, say we were married, right? Which we damn near are. Say we, okay, but say we were actually married. Okay. Say we had... A kid but okay. say i end up having to which wouldn't happen but i'm just saying say i ended Shit. up having to give up my career in oh. order to raise the children and you got to still be out there and do successful? everything that you do so you were making most right. of the bread for the house because i don't get to work anymore because now i'm raising our kid okay right? say less. so now we divorce now what what happens <laughs> with me what happens to you first and foremost if you at home take care of the kids and i'm gonna get nash money when i come home I'm going to spoil you and the kids. But after that, motherfucker... What happens? Though? I'm After talking that, I'm supposed to I'll pay you. Look at that. In the, in the circumstance. They're your kids. In the, no, 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 no. They're your kids. I'm saying. Take care of them damn kids. Or fuck them kids. What? Which one? I'm just kidding. I'm saying in the, in the circumstance of a divorce, of a divorce, easy. Of a divorce, and that's the, not in my that circumstance. Problem, Wait, you sound insane right now. Do you understand that? You what? so you think you think that somebody? It, first of all, if the, if I had a child, it would be our kids, right? And one person is making the sacrifice to, to be at to home, take care to of be the child. at home. Okay, a, you're both not, doing something. It's 50 /50. Okay, but that's my point. That's my point. But then if the one parent who had made the sacrifice to just solely raise the child damn near right. by herself. And I'm going to get the money. Exactly. Now there's a the split. Now there's a split. Y'all are married. Yes. No, y'all aren't married anymore. You can get a divorce. You mm -mm. don't want to be with each other anymore. No you don't like each other anymore. No right. No. You get a divorce. God forbid. But what happens then? I got it for you. What happens then? I, I'll tell you. Do you just leave? Do you just leave the person high and dry? And you're just like, figure it out. Deuces. No. I don't care that you have not had a career for however many years. Because some people, you have to understand, they end up being married for 10, 15 years. They don't got no resume. Listen. They don't have a resume to be able to be like, well, here, they're going to be like, damn, you haven't worked in 10, 15 years. They gonna, what, you want them to go work at McDonald's yeah, in their oh, 40s? <laughs> in their 40s? Go work at McDonald's now? What's your like, old ass? And try to like raise a child off of that type of salary listen, like you gotta be realistic can i respond mm -hmm. listen we in best friend mode y'all that's how it be when you and lovers and friends you know what i'm saying but just between us think about it like this natalie um it's like this in our actual relationship mm -hmm. when when it comes to work i know 
that I am really good at editing. I edit all of our videos. I, I do majority of the, the labor when it comes to the technic technicality of or technology. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my strong suit. When it comes to you, I know you come up with ideas and then you'd be like, you know what? Other than that, it's more so, all right, I'm going to take care of her in these ways and the love languages. It's our love languages. You know what I'm saying? Well, so no, listen, I'm more on the finish. business side So, of so let me finish. Let me finish. On the business side I'm talking about things. on the business side. Okay, so listen. Let's just stay to the business. So because I take more physical work on the technical side of the editing, dealing with the editors, if we have editors, doing all of that background stuff, I know when it comes down to talking to our managers, you'll communicate with them. I feel like my labor is harder. My labor is harder. Yours is more annoying to me. But I bring so us listen, more opportunities. So, I so bring listen, us more I'm not money. Saying, so listen, listen. I'm not, I'm not saying in the aspect that you don't have any, you're not, you don't have value. I'm saying if you had to think about it, communication, which you do bring money in. I'm not saying that you don't, but which one's harder? I, if Honestly, you weren't listening, I would, let me finish. Mm -hmm. Listen. Which one is harder? You will just text and make sure you respond. And when you respond to our managers and stuff like that, because we'd be Damn, slacking. you're belittling the hell out of what I, I know. do. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Because communicate. You, communicate. you will just text. No, baby, listen. You will communicate with them, and I said you bring value. But what I'm saying is the tech now, the tech, the technically I do more of the harder labor. It's like, that's why when you're paying somebody to build a house, it might cost a contractor a lot more money to build a house. That's a big ass mansion versus a shack It's just more labor. Not they're both still working, but I'm just sit, sitting here saying that I feel like I do a lot of the labor, but we bring equal value. So if you're sitting home taking care of the, look how she's fucking looking at me. No, no, do you see this bro? I know what the hell I'm saying. Listen, you listen. don't because yes, I do. I'm not devaluing you. Listen you, to what I'm saying. I'm using a comparison. That's literally what you just. Like, no, I did not. I compared you and I said you're valuable. What I'm just saying uh, is that the comparison, the comparison though, listen, the comparison of. No, for real, hold on, cut. Oh my God. I don't, I, know. I don't like at all how you just portrayed what we do with business. Oh my all. God. Listen to what I'm saying. No, I'm serious. I hear you. I'm serious. I don't want to put that in there. That isn't accurate. It's not accurate. Like first and foremost, if you are going to talk about the things that you do, then accurately talk about the things that I do. Cause it's not just texting our managers, got us publicists. Right. I bring talk in your shit. like real money. Like talk to me, shit. it's like, if not more valuable than editing and you, you don't okay. edit all of our videos either. So okay. I just don't want to put this out there because people already try to make it seem like I bring nothing to the table. Uh -huh. I'm not about to put like have put out a video where it's like people don't even understand the full scope of how much I do for easy X Natalie and what put us on the map. You know what I'm saying? Like, and got us real money. Mm. Speak, talk your shit. Keep it in there. That was pos. That was lit as fuck. I think you should just correct her. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was great. That was absolutely great. Talk your shit. Say it again. Yeah, I mean, this is the real deal podcast. Uh, just between us. Okay, so just between us, just between us, Natalie feels like I devalued her and i think well, my example okay so listen listen my i think my example was terrible okay yes and let me tell you why it's terrible first and foremost we're not gonna pretend like all i do is text back and forth to our managers right. first and foremost the reason why we have managers is because of me the the business and the reason why we've ever had publicity the reason why we've gotten to real money mm. that all that shit you know Talk what i'm saying shit. the reason why a lot of the things that have made us official and Ooh. not just on some just like little youtubers that has been the business side of things that i have handled because that's my strong suit not just texting back and forth to our managers so we're not gonna pretend like i don't have way more value you than editing you know what i'm saying and don't forget i was with you shooting in the gym in the beginning me and you used to edit our videos together until we got an editor so yes you have your strong suits and your strong suits is you know editing why are you looking at me like that i'm gonna put a baby in her right now don't 
don't play with it, don't play with it. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> like I said, I'm not saying that what you do is not important, but right. you could be with some basic, you know, girl and yes. you could be editing your life away and we would still be on level one instead of that's level right. 100. You feel I know me? That's right. I know that's right, baby. And look, I just want to say I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to come off and add fuel to the fire. You do a lot and you've made us a lot of money. I think I was just trying to compare the labor. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to compare the labor. And that was, that was, I'm really bad at comparison sometimes, you know? It's okay, baby. I forgive you. We you can move me? on. Okay. Yeah. All right, I just, I just had to, to make sure, hey, I had to make sure you, if you're not going to pop my shit, I'm going to pop my pop shit. shit. You then, know what baby. I'm saying? Like pop your shit. So back to marriage. Um, I think that I, at a point wanted to get married and I wanted the idea of getting married. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like it's more of a transactional thing. And the only reason why I feel like marriage is more of a transactional thing is because it feels like we're already married just without the title. Right. You know, we've all, we went through the stages that marriage couples would go through, you know, and that's living together. Being together, going through the ups and downs, seeing if we're going to work out. Do you like me? Do I like you? How is our families going to blend? Like we've done mm -hmm. so much already. And I'm just like, we're damn near married. Like legally. I agree. That I, I feel like that, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel like at this point, it's just another celebration, which we do every single year uh, celebration. And we're always very grand with our celebrations. <laughs> so I'm, you know, I'm down with the get down when it comes to the celebration. It's just more so that the fact that the government is in my business and I just feel like it's not only transactional to our love. I just feel like it's really a scam. And I just feel like marriage is a scam. Marriage is a scam. That's my well, idea of it. I don't want to say that it's a scam though. Cause I don't think that it's a scam. I do think that there's certain things that suck. Like why should you have to pay for a marriage license? And then why should you have to pay mm -hmm. and get lawyers for a divorce? Unless if it's, you know, you acquired a lot together right. and now you have to be able to equally split it. That mm -hmm. is kind of like a business, you know what I'm saying? But I do think that there are a lot of other perks to being married. That is not a scam, like buying a house together. There's right. things that, um, married couples, Couples, it's a lot they do get benefits there's a lot of benefits a lot yeah. of financial benefits if you are married to somebody and of course i wouldn't marry you just for those benefits but you can't say it's a scam if there are actual benefits to it as well like of course there's some negative things but okay. there's so, some there's some pros to those so cons if we were to get married would you want to sign a prenup honestly i feel like mm. i feel like we would no honestly Talk i would shit. say this i would say this i would say this i could understand um assigning prenups mm -hmm. i can understand first of all we make the same amount of money now so but you never know one of us could end up making a lot more than the other person and that's you know why it's saying? transactional why does it matter and then? honestly it it doesn't it doesn't but i'm just saying that if you wanted if for us to sign a prenup, I would be down to do that. But I do think that, you know, we'd have to make some very clear things set out for things that we get together, like buying a house together um, when we decide to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like um, a lot of things, like the business that we've started together. You know, I think we are pretty fair about a lot of things as it is because we've actually gone through a breakup and we do have a business account together, like she mentioned. And I've never, ever felt like, oh my God, no matter what, like she would never steal from me. I would never steal from her. You know what I'm saying? Like we have that level of trust, but I do still think that once you start acquiring a lot more together, then it's like, all right, imagine you have a couple houses. Like how do you split up houses? Like, you know, you know so, what I'm saying? So what was your answer? And say it in a full sentence. <laughs> Dang, she's like, sign on the dotted line that you sign a prenup. No, I, want, I really want to know. What, no, I would. I would. would. I want to sign a prenup. See, this is why I don't want to get married because I feel like that's the transactional part. Is it you love me because you love me? And you were saying, if we, I'm over here taking care of the kids, I get some of that money. Oh, but now you want to sign a prenup. Wait, you know, a prenup protects you, right? 
Yeah, but or if, it, I'm the one, or if I'm the one that takes care of the you, kids, it protects the whoever. Both of it, yeah, whoever's protects making both money. of us, and then protects whoever's making but the that most con- amount of money. That contradicts what you said. You said that when it comes to the money, if you're the if I'm out going and doing my thing, making that sh- money, and you taking care of them kids, and I say toodaloo, motherfucker, <laughs> and now you broke. But you want to sign a print. Oh, but that, you know what? We could make our own contract because exactly. it would be a little different in that, in that type of case. That's what know. I'm saying. I don't know. I'm not saying we got to figure it all out now, but you could at least, you know, put a ring on it. God See? damn. Like, that's what I'm saying. We don't got to figure it out all, all right now. But also, do you understand that in different marriages, they have contracts. You create your own contracts. And so we no, can create, that's what, you know, that's what I, so that's we what can I want to talk about. Our own, we can create our own like must haves and exactly. how we want to rule our relationship. And it doesn't have to yes. be based off of anyone else's marriage. And you that's, know? that's my biggest thing. I'm like the same exact way. And we talked about this, like, if we're going to do it, I literally was saying, and I think that what we should do is not go through the government, go through ourselves. Look at fucking Lori Harvey. That bitch got a, a NDA for every nigga she been with. Every, okay, every, but that's different. Every so I'm saying that to say contractually, they can't say nothing about Lori Harvey bad because they signed a contract. So my opinion, let's do the celebration. Let's do the whole, because the actual thing a marriage and when you see people get married, that's not the actual marriage. That's the celebration. And then they have the after party. So the what marriage your, is the, what's the, your the biggest marriage, worries? The marriage is the sign in the papers. It's just the government. It's a scam to me. So I think let's Why have our own contract. Why do you think it's a scam though? Like what? I literally. I already broke it down for 18 and minutes. Then, and then you, yes, you broke it down. But then <laughs> I, I rebuttaled with there's a lot of perks as well. But you also contradicted yourself as well. I did not contradict myself. You contradicted How yourself. Did, okay, Darnell, didn't me. she contradict herself? She said that if she was at home taking care of the kids and I was a breadwinner for 10 years, you literally said that. Oh, then what, what, what do I have? I but, said but when it came to you, you something, said, I know the first and foremost, let me clarify. Cause you're not about to put words in my mouth. I mm-hmm. said that I would be down to sign a prenup, but we would make our own rules and stuff like that. First of all, that would never be the case where I'm just at home taking care of the kids. Cause I'm very career oriented too. So we right. would be both working and both taking care of the kids, but that was just a hypothetical situation. Now, when it comes down to it, I would wait, be I have down a question, for us you, wait, to, you asked hold me on, a question. No, 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 you sit here, see how it, it's flipped. You said, well, what if I own a whole bunch of houses and all the prenup shit there? No, but then when I, I said, if I gotta watch the kids, listen, she is, listen, I already know y'all comment below. Cause I know y'all are listening. She's obviously not. She's just talking. I'm listening. You but are I'm, not because I did not say that. I said that we would have to figure out how we would split homes and stuff like that. You know what I mean? We would still split things. So let's get married and let's have just our contract but no government involved that you know then that's you're what not I want. actually married yes you are no you're not if i'm no on a show state- and they sign and say you can't say you're on a show did i not film the show and, and no state would we actually be married natalie or country that we would just be Bruh. making shit up we would be like hey we're married and then people would look it up and we weren't okay let's ask the audience first let us know what you guys think, honestly, because Natalie is, this is, to me, it's just, it's BS. Darnell, we're going to ask my brother, what did he think? I think part of the, um, you were saying, why does the government have to get involved? You realize when you're getting married, you're tying yourself to another person. As a person already by yourself, you're already linked to the government. You have an ID, mm-hmm. they know you by yourself, but now. Which is all a scam too, because I can go into that too. Yeah. The social security is shit because the government owes the United States of America owes people fucking money. And that's why we got social security numbers. But go ahead. But you're, you're changing your life. Like you're changing your name. Mm-hmm. Um, you're tying yourself to this person. So like you have to report that to. Why? Do you, when you be, when you be, when you be with a girl, do you report back to mom? Do you? But I'm just saying, if you're with somebody, if you're in a relationship, that's like. They, the government ain't my goddamn parents. Yeah, I don't right. need you to tell me what to do. Protect me at all costs and give me a contract that I can come up with. Fuck that. Listen to this girl, y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all know she's crazy. I'm right? not crazy. I make sense. And you, you know do, I make baby. sense. You make sense, but you, it's just like, 
it's too extreme. It's too extreme. Like I understand what you're saying. And that's why I think that we wouldn't go based off of some like random basic, you know, marriage contract or whatever the case may be. But I want to reap those rewards and benefits. Like when we buy a house and we're married Listen, or, you know the, what I'm saying? You know like, what the we biggest reward will be? On. Hold on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> anyway. You know what? I would love to reap those benefits and be able to be like, yo, we're actually married. So, yeah, give us that percentage discount. Or when we pay taxes, guess what? We would pay less in taxes just by being married. There's so many benefits like that that you need to really do your homework on. You did your homework on all the scams. Do your homework <laughs> on the, the things that actually pay off. And then how we could protect ourselves against certain things. There's things and rules and uh, contracts we could put in place to protect ourselves from certain things so you know yeah. what the biggest reward is what what about just the, the actual title like you be like well, damn like that's my wife like, that's wifey when i'm what to know like that's like officially officially like that's my wife like you you will cut up like no no don't, don't be looking at my girl like no be looking at my wife like look at darna he's such a good wife <laughs> come on darna you better it's preach a, it's a strong title like you know people people love that title and, yeah, hey, look, if it strokes the ego, you could be my wife. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> I ain't going to give in. No, uh, honestly, the biggest reward would be being with you. And if it means us getting married and, you know, going through all of that, well, uh, if I can overcome your family, I can overcome this. <laughs> Wait, no, hell no. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Uh, run it back say something else uh, <laughs> i'm keeping it that was a good joke no, we're, we're in a very it's good not place, a good joke Nat. because you're not the one that gets attacked by people all the time oh my god so it's not a good joke i don't like it move right. on at the end of the day the biggest reward is you and i you and i t y <laughs> unity What's the next bullet point? <laughs> I always felt like I always wanted to be proposed to. You have? You know, I just... No, you haven't. Are you yes, serious? Look at me. Don't it look like I want to be proposed to? She is a princess. <laughs> That's her real personality, y'all. She's a princess. Oh, my God. They don't call her Nat Daddy for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with her? Um, you don't want to propose to me, baby? If we well, do get married, know, since we're on the topic, you know, you don't find yourself being on one knee, doing one thing in this relationship that's masculine and proposing to me. Wait, I do other things that are masculine. <laughs> what you do that's masculine? Um, a lot. Like, wait. Mm, even being like doing business stuff is a masculine trait you know i guess that is masculine to, to men it's masculine yeah. but I that be, shit turn me listen, on like i be doing both i be doing the masculine family but be in the kitchen i be in the kitchen then i'm gonna go upstairs and set up some meetings for us you feel me like then i'm gonna come downstairs make sure you drink your gallon of water then i'm gonna you know what i'm saying like i, feel, I guess I, that is masculine in in some people's perspectives but i feel like that ain't masculine what else do like I do? You have do? a masculine personality, mm -hmm. but you're not. If does that even make sense? Like you have a masculine personality, so the business oriented Natalie that do I, I know. Do I have a masculine personality? She's been saying this for years, y'all. Yes, y'all. Yes, do does. I have a masculine? They personality? don't know in the aspect of personal things. The way that Natalie deals with things, there's a the side of her that can be very emotional, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying. She can be very emotional, which is uh, feminine. But sometimes she can be very masculine and like doesn't give a fuck. But like that's the <laughs> old her, not the evolved her. Like, okay, so if I'm telling her about my feelings or if I'm feeling emotional, instead, and I'm emotional, I can be emotional too. Because we're both women. <laughs> She's a princess. I need, I, I, and, and some 
points, I'm like, okay, this is the point where I could be vulnerable. This is the point where I can mm -hmm. be. And we kind of clashed in, in those moments. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, I need to be vulnerable right now. But I felt like you were too fucking tough. I'm like, damn. Yeah, I was. She's like, I did. oh, man. I used to be. She I used, used to be. I used yeah. to have. A, I don't know why. I used to have a problem. I think it was like an issue with vulnerability. And like, you know, those people who it's extreme where like, if people cry around them, they'll laugh. Like it wasn't that extreme, Yeah, it was <laughs> but that it was kind of like, like, I felt uncomfortable, like that I felt uncomfortable. So mm -hmm. it, I think it came off as like, I didn't care, but mm -hmm. I was just uncomfortable. Right. And now, you know, I've learned how to, oh, like, she's way softer now. Way softer. Yeah, I've learned how to like because I didn't play that know. shit. Like, if I need to be emotional, if I want to cry, you gonna let me cry, right? But that <laughs> also too, I feel like that plays a role in in heterosexual people's relationships because I feel like a lot of men feel like they have to have a wall up. You know what I'm mm, saying? And I'm not that's saying a good topic. We should talk about that. You sometime. know what I'm saying? Like, yes, yeah, masculine men, and feminine. The way you cut me off, I went there. <laughs> I know you ain't talking. <laughs> I know, Lord, you ain't talking. Yeah. Me, mm -hmm. me cutting you off. I didn't like that. You didn't like that? Okay. You well, maybe that saying? means you won't do it moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I do feel like that's another topic. That's another topic. But I feel like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. Fuck it. Okay, baby, I have a good question. What for is your you. question? Because now, too. now you got. I now I hear wedding bells, and I'm picturing the perfect destination for oh our goodness. beautiful Italian wedding. And Italian, I, how the hell my family gonna get to into Italian? It's to Italy, Elaton, girl, a French. They gonna come. I want to mm -hmm. have. Okay, so my perfect wedding would probably mm -hmm. be overseas somewhere it doesn't have to necessarily be italy no. but definitely not in ghetto america i don't want to have ghetto. it in ghetto ass america We're ghetto as fuck. you know i want to be like you know what i'm saying like on a cliff somewhere and just like overlooking and just like drone shots and just like the whole guess who's you know shooting all this me <laughs> while Easy's, trying to propose right to Easy's her. over here trying to marry me while like flying the drone no <laughs> um but that's what that's i want true, what do you want baby where do you want to get married at that's true yeah like yeah and you know that my great grandma was a hundred percent sicilian so i'm a big percentage of italian so that would be like you, you know my ancestors would, your, your grandma my great grandma my mom's grandma your mama, mama my mom's mama grandma. mama girl yeah your mama's mama's I feel like my ancestors will be clapping for me if I was just out there getting married. Maybe because honestly, they probably in the there wasn't even gay friend. back then, so maybe maybe not. I don't know. You know, hell no. Nah. Can we get married in another she country? Don't know, she don't even know your ass is black. Who? <laughs> your great great grandma. I know she so, really no, but my great grandma, a, a, a she lesbian. Was, she was cool. She was cool. Bitch. That's my mom. That's my mama's mama's mama. You know what? She came over here on a boat called the Santa Maria. That's how Italian she was. Yes. She came to America really? on a boat. On a boat called the she Santa was Maria. Or that's racist. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> America only tell us one how people be getting no, as racist. <laughs> Cut that out. You <laughs> gonna get dragged? Cut that shit out. I was just in Mexico. Fuck. <laughs> um. Nah, but that's dope that your auntie Italian. I mean, not my aunt. See, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. This girl does not listen to the words that come out of my mouth. I do. My aunt <laughs> Italian? What? One of your aunties is Italian. My great grandma was Italian. So that's why I would love to get married in that's Italy. That's what you think, huh? Yeah, because you know they be eating their bread and All pasta. That bread. All that bread and pasta. Got Wait, a white boy on Why do they keep doing that? Because it's not on mute. In the cut with my. You don't know that, huh? No. In the good, do it like this. In the good. Go like that. In the good with my twin, we be vibing. What is it? It's a TikTok dance. Oh my God. Stay off of TikTok. Natalie, stay it with TikTok. Get with her. Get I don't have to because you be telling me all the trends. Yes. So that's all I need. So you think I should propose to you? I do. I do think that you Can should you propose. Can you just propose to me. to me for once? Fuck. What do you mean for once? 
I'm, you know I'm going to propose to you. Just give me something in life to tell my grandkids. I'm going to give you a ring back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. And I already know you're going to make it bougie. You're going to want a bougie ring. She's I'm not going to want a down. simple. She's not going to want a simple band. You know what I'm saying? She's going to want something extra. You want a motherfucking diamond. You, Wait, you, want, a, you want a rock? Oh, a uh, rock. She's well, fucking rock. Uh, Chris uh, Rock. Uh, uh, wait, no. Do you really want a rock? Like, yes. You don't want a band with diamonds. Give in me it? motherfucking diamond. Motherfucking diamond that was on Lil Uzi Vert. That one, that kind of oh diamond. Oh my god, y'all see who the princess is? I, when I tell y'all, y'all need to start calling her Princess Easy. Is it like bad luck to get married? Why would you say I, bad luck? Because I've never seen. Mm -hmm. in, I I've never witnessed really a successful marriage. See now that's a whole in black other families topic. and stuff. That's but a whole nother topic, and that's true, and that's the sad part, and the sad reality is that, especially in like you know the black community, their marriage isn't really a topic that is talked about enough, and it's there's also not so a lot infidelities. of infidelities. If we just don't get married, it don't count. <laughs> what the heck bro I, you know i take it back i do not want to marry you you're crazy <laughs> i'm joking baby seriously seriously go ahead no go. for real though in the black community and stuff there's not a lot of like good representation of what a healthy marriage should look like and honestly not even just in the black community because i don't even know any right. healthy relationships on my white side so <laughs> i'm like both of them both of them so how do we like comment below how do you think that mm -hmm. you like what are you mirroring or what like so a lot of people think that you have to see an example of something to be able to, to mm. aspire to be that right but what if you don't have that what if you don't know any of those things like you don't know what a, a good marriage looks like you don't know what takes what it takes to be in a successful marriage because like it's not like we could go ask somebody if we're having problems in our marriage like hey so this happened well like, i do have a friend group that is married and who chris and alexis Oh yeah, they're married. They yep, they've been married for a while too. Chris and yeah. Alexis been together for like twelve years. But they ain't black. Chris is black. That don't matter. What they don't got problems because they're not black. <laughs> <laughs> you sound crazy. Oh wait, your grandparents. My grandparents. That's a successful marriage. They're yeah. crazy. My fucking crazy grandpa. My grandpa Garfield. My grandma Connie. Amazing. Oh Actually, my god, we should have them on for that? a podcast. That would oh, be funny. Oh my god, that would be hectic. Maybe we should have them comment below if we yes. should have her crazy, amazing, cool grandparents on to give us marriage, marriage counseling. They marriage counseling, counseling before we're Hell married. Hell no, my grandparents did cuss. You know, my grandparents cuss each other out. Funny, but they're so com co uh, comical. Like that's why it would be funny to get marriage like marriage counseling advice. That's funny. from comment below, y'all. Let us know if that if you guys would like to see that. Just be aware, it's gonna be a hectic episode if we do that. And y'all think I interrupt? Oh my god, that's where you get it from. Huh? Oh my god, <laughs> my grandma's like y'all motherfuckers getting on my goddamn nerves. First the fuck off. <laughs> that's listen, y'all. You know what I just pictured? I just pictured like a meme or not a meme, but like those uh, videos and stuff on TikTok where it's like her side of the family versus my side of the family. And that is realistic because now if I had my family come on and do some type of like oh God, video, like it would this. be way, it would just be very intellectual. It would, you would get a lot from it, but it would just be more, you know what I'm saying? It'd be slower Have paced. her family. Oh, bitch, I know you motherfucking lying, bitch. <laughs> we gonna be roasting each other and all of that. But it'd be so entertaining, though. Yes. That'd both, be great. I think both would be very entertaining. Yeah. yeah, I think both would be very entertaining. I think yours would be more so like, wow, I learned a lot. Like educational. That, that podcast. Mine no, would be everybody's all, don't laughing. Try to act like, wait, don't try to act like my family's boring or I something. I didn't say they're boring. I just said it would be more on the, oh, wow, that was a great podcast. Like, I learned a lot. My mm -hmm. family would be like, niggas is going to be laughing the entire time. And like, wait, what was that podcast even about? Right. They're going to be like, wait, wait, what did I just what? watch? Did I, literally, that would be yeah. like, what did I just watch? Yeah, my but it's to be yeah. funny as hell. It would be. I yeah. think either one would be really good. We should do both. That'd be funny. Yeah, at some point. Yeah, in life. Yeah. Should we even bring guests on? We we killing it. You know what I'm saying? You my I dog. Know. Hey. Hey, you my right hand. My my right hand, my go-to. Mm. 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 
I don't know. I do think that we should bring guests on sometimes. So I don't think y'all should get used to it because hey. you know what I'm saying? Like, we really, we really, I'm kind of scared to mess that up because I feel like we have such a great dynamic and like we just bounce off of each other so well and it just flows so yeah. great that if we bring someone on, imagine like it's just like, damn, why we bring them on here? Nah, we were great hosts. Hostess to the mostest. Yeah, we are hostess with a monster. All right, y'all, let us know. Should we get married or should we not get married? I guess it's all in your hands. Should I marry Natalie? I don't know. I don't know if she's the one. I don't know if she's the two. And should we stream our marriage live so that you guys what? can all attend? Oh, fuck. <laughs> all right. At this point, they be like, they literally be like, There's, they do this for good content, obviously. Look at them. They're so fucking money hungry. I mean. I mean. <laughs> no. No, but I. No. I'm, I'm saying, though, I think that you guys would enjoy that, though, yeah. to, like, be able to watch us get married live. I know everyone would be boohoo crying, like, oh, it would be so cute. Yeah, it would be cute. Only reason why I say that, though, is because we do document a lot of our lives. So it's just like, that would be cool. But we to actually live stream it, that's, like, doing the most. Not on Instagram or something. Bitch, uh, we got to go to wherever we make some money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this girl is If we was going to do it, we going to live stream Oh no. Uh, uh we're gonna live stream on Twitch. <laughs> on Twitch. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, that would be so crazy. It's, it's I'd be hecked. I'd be nervous. I'd be like, oh my god. Wait, do you think that you are gonna be nervous to propose to me? I don't understand why she still had the idea that I'm gonna propose to her. Because we both know that I'm I'm not going to. I, like <sighs> you're yes, you're a princess, but I'm more the of a princess. <laughs> I'm, baby, don't play with it. Don't play with me like I ain't that nigga. Like, I ain't daddy. So why you want me to propose to you then? Hey, man, say man, because it happens sometimes. It does happen, but, I'm still you know. a female. I don't even think, like, you would actually genuinely want that. Like, I feel like you would kind of feel like some you didn't have the opportunity. You would be like, dang, I wish I would have had the opportunity to propose to her. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not true? I've been messing with you. I've been trolling you this whole time. No, seriously. I really want to know. Would you actually want me to propose to you? Or do you feel like you would feel like damn Bitch, like I would I think it would ruin the moment actually. If you proposed to me, I feel like you probably would laugh and I probably would laugh too. <laughs> There'd be nothing romantic about it. There'd be it. nothing romantic. We'd go to straight best friend modes. Yeah. I'd be like, Bitch, Bitch, you know. <laughs> something, girl. I don't think we would believe each other. I think you'd be like, oh hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Let me go. Like, I don't think he would actually want me to. Nah, I wouldn't. Nah, I don't think so. Okay, do you think that you're going to be nervous proposing to me? You see how it was when I came back in Miami? Oh, my God. Okay, so y'all got to go watch this part. We've never mentioned this before. So y'all know the video where That's Easy. our first kiss. It was our first kiss. It was where yes. Easy messed up in the relationship. Then she came to Miami. We weren't even together yet. No, Already. we were. We were officially. I thought we were officially no, together. We no, weren't officially together. No. Oh, okay. It's a blur. It's been, it's been a couple. It's years. a blur. Anyway, she came to Miami because like we were going through it or whatever, and she came to surprise me, bro. When Easy showed me the video of how like her recording herself before I came outside. <laughs> I was so nervous. She was so nervous. And if you go yes. look back at that video, her lip is I like do something, quivering. I do. She's like, oh. <laughs> she's like, she's like, wait, wait, you gotta let, I, I do this one specific thing when I'm nervous. And I didn't realize I do it until we look back at certain videos that, oh yeah. My baby nervous. What, what did I do? Baby? She's just like, I heard she like her jaw like goes crooked or something like that. She's like, <laughs> She's like, oh, oh my gosh, you supposed to come outside right now. All right, beat baby like a fucking crackhead. <laughs> God, Lee. <laughs> It was so funny, but it's adorable. So I'm wondering when she proposes to me, is her jaw gonna be doing that? And if it does, like I don't think I'm gonna cry. I think I'm gonna just laugh. Fuck. That's one of my tales. <laughs> that she's nervous. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Just cause your masculine ass don't get nervous. I do get nervous. What do you get nervous my about? A lot of things, but my jaw just doesn't do that. Doesn't lock up? Mm -mm. I feel like I just like... Your jaw don't lock up? No, it don't. You just <laughs> pissed me off. 
<laughs> I forgot she used to be with men. Ew. What are you talking Ew. about? Why just did look your at mind her. just go there? Just look at her. Oh yeah, give them another reason to fucking hate me. <laughs> Easy, go ahead, go ahead. Because they're pretty really straight down. I don't know why they swear. Why were straight. they saying that? Okay, so in our last video, y'all, oh we were God. looking at the comments, and there were people saying like, "Well, what do you expect, Natalie, when you claim to be straight? First and foremost, I have never claimed to be straight. How could I be straight?" And then, then yeah. there were confused people commenting like, "How could she be straight when she's with a girl?" I never said that I'm straight. I, I think it's just more so because I, I always I always play the card that you know Natalie's straight as hell. She just with me. Oh, uh, that's you know what I'm saying. Fine. I think that's what it is because we always play that. And you have. I've never said that. I've never said yeah. I'm straight as hell. Like I never said that. Yeah, you never said that. And I think it's because I always say it, but, um, but they take like it in a as, jokey, jokey. Yeah, way. and they take it serious. But people are also still young and that's okay we're still girl know. i've been clicking on these people that have been hating they look old as hell and oh no it's no the they're ones. old way older than us i'm like girl you need to focus on yourself mm -hmm. that was I that was old gonna... that was I... that old petty natalie about to come out y'all yeah. remember the <laughs> i petty was queen. really about she... to say some real petty shit but... damn i don't even know who that is anymore i know do y'all I've, okay, so I've evolved she's evolved so much okay there used to be a time where natalie literally could respond so quick to people and he'd be like damn this bitch petty 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 labelle bitch ruthless. petty ruthless and i was like how does she even think about responses this like so quick mm -hmm. and she would make these skits called like the petty queen or whatever she'd turn around do her dance to i would be oh. like it would be a slow motion turn yes. i'd be laughing dun, dun, after dun, just dun, like dun, dun, dun. wait do after, it right now after, do it after, do it in the can wife. i fucking finish bitch i was talking you interrupted me and i'm interrupting you interrupt me <laughs> call me that see who the princess is sorry babe come here look look whose hands on top and look who hands on bottom what is that supposed to mean? I'm the, the king. Okay. Yes, you are. You're my king. I love you. I love you too. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you for apologizing. I was back to saying that you were the, you used to be the petty queen. And I don't even think there's a petty bone in your body. Cause the I way mean, there is. I just don't say, I don't say the first thing that comes to mind anymore. I think that's what it was. It was mm. like, I used to really just say the first thing that came to mind. And you know how like, okay, so me and Easy have like this ongoing joke that I don't know if you guys have ever seen this skit that was by Katie. Katie? Katie Dawn. Oh my God. Where it was like that friend that doesn't know how to roast. Like she, they just go crazy. So basically it was like, mm -hmm. you know, somebody was like roasting like their shoes. Like say if you like, that's you fat. Or yeah. Like, like, oh, that's, that's why, why you, f that's why you fat. That's why your breast stinks or whatever. And then like the person's response was like, well, that's why your mama died. Yeah. That's what your mama did. And yeah. Well, that's she why did. your mama did. <laughs> like, so I, we have this ongoing joke. Like, of course I would never say anything like that, but we have this ongoing joke that that's how I am is like, I be. can't, or that's how it used to be. Like I couldn't, I can't roast, but I'm gonna hurt your feelings. Yeah. Like I'm gonna really hurt your feelings. She used to be like that. And it was just like, dang. And I don't think that she, that's her at all. I think that's where the petty, yeah, that's where the petty like clapbacks came from. Cause I used to always think these type yeah. of things. Like when people would say slick shit, I'm like thinking it in my head, like girl or boy, da 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 da. So yeah, but I'm not the like way that, that you deal with certain situations. Some people deserve to get their ass beat, and you literally be with your palasantos mm -hmm. and your journal. You better know what it's called, baby. You, know what I'm yeah. you be in the sage and that motherfucker up. I mean, like mm -hmm. I'm involved. Like um, yes, she be like woosa, and I be like whoop that beat. <laughs> you're stupid yeah no literally i mean honestly i have come such a long way and thank god because you know what? i probably would have been in jail nah you're not stupid mm, but you know what you're people petty. there's there's people though that like you know what i'm saying like we ain't gonna go into that because if we go into that because i mean we gonna go into that we don't need to go into that we but, can go into that because that's a whole different topic that deserve to be talked about we ain't gonna go into that mm. 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 <laughs> she is my ghetto queen like she's look at her because mm. we can talk about it you want to talk about it we can talk about it because we can talk about it because because motherfuckers motherfuckers know 
why did you just develop a lisp just now? Motherfuckers mad. That is so funny. But yeah. Don't so. be nervous now. Bring her out. Nervous? Talk about it. Anyway. Pop your shit. Y'all, I don't know how this conversation got here from us talking about marriage, but mm. tell Easy that I love her. And tell Natalie I love her. Yeah. And I'm excited and I'm happy for this podcast and I love it. And I hope y'all continue to keep watching because, you know, we do this and tap, tap, just, tap in. It feels so much fun. It feels organic. It feels genuine. It feels personal. Um, and we just love like the different topics that we're talking yeah. about. So definitely head over to our YouTube. If you have any topic ideas yes. or anything you want to say, make sure you comment, let us know because we're definitely looking for more ideas since we're mm -hmm. new to this. We're not true to this. Not true we are definitely taking all kind of topics and we are going to expand on this podcast. We're going to I want you and to be my topic. Oh yeah. And I could be yo, Bob, 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 bottom big okay anyway no. okay no sorry. Mm -mm. interrupt you for a trash ass pickup line. i know damn it could it should have been oh. good at least but i want you any, to be my topic you finish it figure it out later <laughs> <laughs> figure it out on your own time i'm trying to tell them something right now so yeah we're gonna I need actually, your motherfucking child hold on oh my she God. just did this little wave bro can i finish <laughs> what the fuck you know what we're done I feel like she's like, this is your ADHD coming out. Yeah. Where you just Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, we're going to definitely expand on this, guys. And it's going to be lit. We're going to, you know, maybe should I tell them little ideas of things that we want to do, like eventually with this or just let it be surprises. Hey, talk about that bitch. All right, y'all. Thank <laughs> you. so. <laughs> All right. Let's sign out. Look at that foot. You see that foot? I see it. That's that ghetto mama foot. I got a, you know what? We don't have a whole nother episode just talking about parenting. Because oh my God. Cause my mom is ghetto and your mom is white. <laughs> <laughs> what is Mama's my mom? Have? Okay. But my mom was definitely not the, the typical white parent. She's not. She's but not. But if you put the two in the room, they're polar opposites. There's no way that polar. you would ever say that these women are but the same But who would people. you be more scared to get beat by, though? I'm not going to lie, because... I guess we got to compare ass whoopings. All right, <laughs> we'll talk about that in another episode. We got to sign out. She wants to She wants to keep talking, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Speaking I love ass whoopings. Huh? What? <laughs> oh. I cannot with how ghetto you are. Mm -mm. With her foot, like, it's like you you take the high road a lot, and people always be like getting over on you. You know what I'm saying? But look at my life. I'm so blessed. It's not that people get over on me. I feel like because I'm a good person, and mm -hmm. because I will tap in, tap 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 inside instead of beat 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 in someone's ass. Mm. Like my life is blessed, and it is is blessed, and that's because I have taken the high road time and time again, time and time again. <laughs> anyway, I've changed a lot too. You have. You want to talk about it? I would like for you to ask about it or mention how. It. Okay, let me mention how she, let me mention y'all how she's changed, but she really has. I'm not gonna lie, she was a little firecracker before. I wasn't a fire firecracker. Yes, you were. Yeah, I was. She was. When yeah. I tell you, she was just on people, just like, like just like what, like you know, like just, she'd be cool. Hi, how are you? To, how are you? And then just spazzing out. But you know. She has come so far and she doesn't do that anymore. She doesn't spaz out on people, but it was always like deserving. Like it wasn't like they were just innocent people. She was doing this on. It would be people like random people that would be just trying yeah. her being super rude and stuff. But, but it it'd got, be like, I'd be the type to have a reason, but then be like, fuck, she would be doing the, that's why your mama did. <laughs> like she'd be go far and it'd yeah. be like, yeah. reel it in baby. <laughs> And I used to be like, oh my God, sometimes I would just be ready to walk away. Like, this is crazy. Cause she, there was, it didn't matter time or a place. Time she gonna read somebody. 
Since but she don't do that no more. Boy, she doesn't do. Okay. I got no plans. No, 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 no. Yeah. Is that Mary J. Blush? Mm-hmm. I don't know. She, she been away, boy. Okay. All right. I think we should wrap this one now. Let's wrap it. Let me wrap it like a fucking Chipotle burrito. Okay. I want to wrap you like a fucking Christmas present. Okay. I want to wrap you like a fucking wrap snack at the liquor store. What is that? Some chips, babe. You must call me a bitch again. Let me fucking finish my, what do they call pun? Okay, go ahead. Wrap. What else do you want to wrap me like? Give me, show me one. You tell me one. I'm trying to. Come on, you're quicker than that. Um, You just used all the best ones. I just want to wrap you like. I just want to get you prego like the sauce. Oh, yeah. Okay. Give me, give me one. Throw me one. I don't, don't have get one. Come on, Nat. The, Your brain works only, so fast I'm, until it's I'm time tired. for a joke. I'm exhausted Jesus. and I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. I don't want to do this anymore. Give me one. Just throw me a pun. No, give me a pun. Right. Give me a good um, one and look at my soul when you do it. <laughs> Come on, Natalie. You got it. No, the one that I thought of is it's too freaky. Yes. Okay, say it. No. I'll edit it out. No. I'll edit it. You won't. I you will. will not edit it out. I know you. Come on. All right, all right. Guys, this was such a great episode. Yes, it was. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that I don't know if we taught anything. <laughs> <laughs> we just be talking. And that's the good thing about a podcast that you could just be talking. You yeah, know? literally. But you I know? think this was a really interesting conversation. And we would yeah. love to hear from you in the comments to know what you guys think about marriage. And should we get married? Well, I'm easy. And I'm Natalie. And this is Just, just Between, Between Us podcast. podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode.